Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful Resolve tips and tricks in about five minutes. In this episode, we're going to use the new Text Plus template and the Fusion page to create a title inspired by the Walking Dead series. One thing to keep in mind as we go through this is that Resolve 15 is still in beta, so some of these steps may have changed if you're watching this after Resolve 15 has officially launched. Here in the timeline, I have a bunch of slider shots of derelict buildings and scenery, which I have made look even darker and dirtier. And over here, I've placed markers where I want my title to go. The first thing I'll do is drag the text plus title from the effects library onto my timeline. Then I'll type zombie show on the title so I don't get sued. Next, I'll change the font to Babus or something like that, and I'll adjust the size until it looks about right. Next, I'll change the color to a deep rusty orange and reduce the tracking a little bit. Before going forward, I need to warn you, making timing changes in the Fusion page can be very tedious. So for our title, we're going to want to leave it extra long so we have a much easier time adjusting its final position and timing in the timeline. Now to the Fusion page. The first step is to add some texture. So I'll press Shift and the spacebar to bring up the Tools list. And then I'll type Noise. I'll select the Fast Noise tool and click OK. I'll select the Fast Noise tool and press the number 1 so I can see what this tool is doing in the left viewer. Then I'll adjust the parameters in the inspector until it has a nice, tight, noisy pattern. Now here's something really cool in Fusion. I'll go down to the Seethe Rate parameter and turn it up somewhere around 0 0.30. Now I'll make sure looping is on, and I'll hit play to preview it. And just like that, we have simple animated noise. Now I need to connect things up. I'll take the template output and connect it to the effect mask input of the fast noise tool. That's this blue triangle. And just like that, the text is acting as a mask for the noise and we're starting to get somewhere. But I think the next step will be to add a little bit of blur. First, I'll deselect the tools by clicking anywhere in the flow editor, and then I'll press shift space and type blur, then click okay. I'll connect the blur in between the template and the merge node. I'll disconnect the template tool from the merge tool by clicking on this line near the merge input. That's pretty ugly, so I'll go to the merge tool and change the apply mode to soft light. Much better. I'll also add another output from the template to the blur effect mask. This will help our text retain its shape and legibility. Now I'll go to the inspector and turn up the blur itself to around 10-ish. Then I'll switch to the settings tab and check the box for apply mask inverted. This will push our blurred areas outside of the text. And it's starting to look pretty good. Now to deselect everything and add another merge tool. Then I'll add a matte control tool. I'll connect the second merge tool after the first, and then connect the template to the matte control. After that, I'll connect the matte control to the merge tube background. That's the yellow triangle. If you ever get your foregrounds and backgrounds swapped, you can simply hit Command T or Control T to swap the inputs. However, this doesn't affect the mask effect input. Now, with the matte control tool selected, Back in the inspector, all I need to do is crank up the matte blur to about 7. Now back to the edit page. And our title's looking pretty good. Now it's just a matter of rearranging things. I'll often drag or alt drag on my title to create two more copies. Then I'll adjust the text, the size, and the position in the inspector and I'll finish it off with some fades. And voila, Rick and Michonne would now feel right at home. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, take a hike. And as always, check out rippletraining.com, your number one resource for DaVinci Resolve certification training. Thanks for watching.